I guess what I was trying to get at, and I'm trying to figure out the best way to, to ask it, is it seems like technology is going to advance so much to the point where it completely like obliterates all of our perceptions of reality. Like like when you're going to be able to like take your consciousness yeah. and download it and put it in a right. computer simulation, virtual reality. Right. What what does that mean for religion? Like what does that mean for Christianity? Well, when yeah, we'll be able to create life, you know, ourselves. <laughs> right. right. You know, if yeah. it gets to that point. Well, uh, from my perspective, uh, it's it'll there'll be a way for it to be redeemed and mm-hmm. there'll be a way for us to use it in a sinful way and uh god created the world for us to master it through technology to exercise dominion through technology through medical advancements it is our way of taming the garden mm-hmm. as as being in the second adam we are in this garden of the world and uh we are sucking the resources out of the ground and we're making all of this technology. And I think that there's there's a way to do that that can glorify God. And there's a way to do it that's uh, not going to glorify yeah. God. I mean, the internet would be a way of doing an incredible database for, for learning a lot of things, but also a way for people to, um, you know, use it for all kinds of carnal things as well. Sure. And so it's for not sure. that technology is either uh, bad or good. It's a gift that God has uh, given us that, that, um, that we, through our reason and rationality and inquiry uh, have created and were to use that to to glorify God. As far as the specifics um, with uh, all these technological advancements, um, I don't think it's going to be like we get so technolo- technologically advanced, we can be like, oh yeah, all of that biblical stuff was just, uh, you know, it was it was a really great allegory that kind of fulfilled some kind of psychological need well, see, and we is- don't have any need for it anymore. Yeah. It's the what does Plato call it? The noble lie, or I don't know, yeah. somebody, you know, it's, it was just the noble lie that we can discard because, because now we don't uh, use VHS tapes anymore. Yeah. Well, that, yeah, you know, <laughs> like, like I, I don't think it, I, we're, yeah. we're not ever going to get to that point. Well, see, that's what I'm wondering is, is like technology advancing enough to like, I don't know the way to put it. And I know, I mean, what I think when I think of God, a way that I put it is, is God is like, what we will never understand or know as humans. Because no matter how advanced sure. we get, there's always going to be things that we don't understand or yeah. know, whatever right. that means. Right. But what if technology does get to the point where like, I mean, have you heard of simulation theory? You ever like read about that or hear about that? It's no. like, it's a theory bouncing around and some scientists and, and physicists and stuff are kind of thinking about it seriously. But it's it's a theory that, we're li- this is a simulation right now. Oh, you know yeah. what I mean? Like okay. this is a simulation. The, ma- the Matrix. Yeah, like the we're Matrix. We're in the Matrix. Uh, you know, or or basically, it would. That's Kantian epistemology. Yeah, like, and what if what if technology advances so much where we like end up discovering the creator of the simulation? I mean, what would <laughs> you know? It's just a fun thought yeah. thought experiment. I from, mean, from your perspective, like, you yeah, know, uh, well, like disproving that, God with technology. That, that creator would be God. That mm. would be Yahweh God. Wow! It would. It, so you would be on like if tomorrow. It's not. It's not a. It, yeah. It's not a simulation. I. I would say that's never going to happen. Mm. It's because we. We from a from a Christian perspective, which I believe is objective reality. This isn't like from my perspective. Obviously, it's not just. Oh, this is what I think. This is what I believe. Any genuine, uh, anybody who is intellect, intellectually rigorous and serious. Yeah. Will will come to scripture as shaping, making reality intelligible to its fullest degree. And God created the world, and it's and he God is um, he is not uh, he is honest and direct. He cannot lie um, in, in the sense that he he is trustworthy with his word. Mm. He's given us. He's a trustworthy father. He's not. We're not going to come to the point where it's like oh. Uh, dad was lying about what he was saying. saying. He's not a joker like that. Where, um, and so I, I would say um, all of that stuff is interesting, and and epistemology is is very fascinating um, uh, topic. And I would I would encourage people to watch um, uh, Greg Bonson's debate with Gordon Stein, um, where he he really kind of tackles that uh, from a transcendental uh, perspective. Um, and then I, I would also uh, push people to check out a lot of kind of uh, reform Thomistic 
uh, apologists or even guys like William Wayne Craig. Mm. But anyway, um, yeah, that's, that's what I would say. I don't, it's a, it's a, it's a hypothetical that I just, I don't think will ever happen. Gotcha. Mm, that's interesting, <laughs> but it's fun. It's fun. It's, it's kind of cool that you said he would be, that's God. Then we find <laughs> yeah, the creator. If yeah. we find the guy that created the simulation, yeah. that's God. I, there's, there's something, uh, yeah. I mean, there's, there's something really visceral and I think it's because we're, we are creations and we, we, we want to know who our creator is. Yeah. We want a relationship with yeah. him and God has provided a way for, for us to do that. There's, there's some movie that came out recently. Um, it's like a video game movie. Uh, uh, there's where, been a ton of those. Yeah. Where he, uh, he, it, it, it's, it's a lot of it is simulation, but he, he, uh, he wins some contest and he meets the creator. Of, is it like a, the game that they're yeah, playing or something? Yeah, yeah I don't know the name of it. I think okay. I know what you're talking but about. But at the end of it, he meets the creator of it. And wow. uh, I don't know. There, there's a lot of that that um, he, he was able to essentially win the game because he knew the cre- he knew how the creator thought. Hmm. They had to inquire into the creator of the game and into the creator's life. And that's what Christianity hmm. is in a sense. This isn't a simulation. This is reality. Although heaven and earth are, I would basically say, different dimensions. And um, the way that we can navigate this reality is by understanding who the creator mm. is. And that we can, under- we can understand that naturally through creation, um, by, by, through science and you know, study, but, yeah. but we can, we, that can be polished off and the fullness of that revelation is, is in scripture. Yeah.